So we're going to head back down this way, head down towards the uh, Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. At, uh, it's a nice looking lighthouse. You can just barely see it peeking above the trees at this point here. It's a, uh, it's a climb. I believe it's like 160 feet tall. And uh, it's quite a climb to the top. If you're not in uh, good shape, um, <laughs> it'll, sh it'll tell you. <laughs> I've been up to it several times. It's always windy when you get to the top, but the views are amazing. You can see across the uh, intercoastal. You can uh, uh, the inlet. You know, you can see the in inlet there. Uh, you can see all the way up to Daytona Beach. Uh, you can see New Smyrna Beach at the one end. So it's a it's a worth it's worth the climb to the top if you're in fairly good shape. You don't have to be excellent, but I was up there a couple years ago, but. It, uh, it's a chore. You knew you did something when you come out of it. There it is, peeking above the trees. Uh, Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. Come around the corner there. You should be able to even get a little better view of it. It's another little area that goes down in it. There's a, a couple of restaurants down in there. That's um. several little restaurants in this area. See, I don't know if there's, I can't think of any motels down in here, but I'm sure there's condos or something where if a person wanted to stay down here, I, I'm sure you could find something. But I'm just not familiar with them. I'm not either. Uh, we'll pop in here to the lighthouse for a minute. So, you can see the whole thing, actually. Yeah, there's Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. There's oh. an old, couple older buildings in there it's, uh, that you can, once you pay your admission to go up in the lighthouse, you can go back in and tour the little areas. Yeah, it's worth the, uh, it's worth the trip here if you, uh, in this area, to check out the lighthouse. There you got it. <laughs> All right, we're at the uh, Ponce Inlet Lighthouse beautiful sky out there you get runs about 130 feet foot maybe 160 feet feet tall quite a view when you get to the top of it up there and here's a little information I don't know if you can read it or not it tells a little bit about the uh, the lighthouse here you know, they got several buildings the uh, I think over there's a Fenzel shop where they make the lens for the uh, the lighthouse, it towers up there. Beautiful palms beside it. So this is the uh, Ponce Inlet, the lighthouse gift shop. It's where if you want to take the tour around here and go up into the uh, um, lighthouse, you can uh, purchase your tickets here. And it's a museum. They got all kinds of little stuff inside. So. We'll be heading inside here next. So it's uh, a nice looking sign out here. Tells the gift shop hours. Now you can climb it when the full moon. That would look really cool. Oh. Oh. Good morning. You look a little better today. All kinds of little signs with mermaids. Some beautiful pictures with the. Uh, Lighthouse and the ocean. All kinds of good things into the. Uh, let your light shine. All kinds of Christmas decorations. Yeah, they got this little mermaid. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I like this one too. I've always liked mermaids. They got a starfish. That's pretty. Oh, looky here. <laughs> That's a little fish. A pink puffer. That's a pink puffer. Pretty cool. So if you wanted to decorate your Christmas tropical, kind of alligator, you can uh, decorate your Christmas in a tropical thing. I like little, uh, these kind of kitchen things. Yeah, kitchen lighthouse. Lighthouse. How much is that one? This one is six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. This one's got the whole little village. Yeah, so the big one has it. The big village. Pretty cool.
This is, this is my happy place. Ah, we're at Ponce Inlet Lighthouse today. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background or not. I have to tilt it way back. There it is. We're out here uh, just kicking back. We've been up that before. It's a, quite a haul. It goes to the top there, but it's like we take a little tour around the shop and uh, show you a little bit about Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. All right, Sue so, uh, found a cat's meow uh, inside the museum here. Cat's meow was made in Worcester, Ohio, and that's where we originally came from. And uh, I think it's Felice Jones. Uh. Faleen Jones. Jones, and Jones, uh, Jones. I knew of them. I used to get their scrap word in my fireplace, but she found this uh, uh, cat's meow in the uh, gift shop. I'm going to get a little closer. And, I'm going to uh, pan around. Okay. The, uh, there's a little cat. Casper. Is that the name of the cat? Casper. Casper. Mm -hmm. And every one of cat's meow has that cat in it somewhere. Then it tells they, about it on they the tell back. all about it. They list them on the back. Historical. They make all kinds of cats meows from uh, no. just all over the world. So here's the uh, lighthouse and uh, Sue so got the uh, cats meow that she just purchased in the gift shop. It's our little day trip to uh, Ponce Inlet. All right we took a uh, little uh, Side trip went inside the uh, museum there and looked around a little bit. Sue found a little ornament, or it's actually what they call it, cat's meow. Cat's meow. It, it was of the lighthouse. It's a wood decoration that's made at uh, um, Cat's Meow Village in um, Worcester, Ohio. That's where we're from. So that was kind of a piece of home, you know, being the cat's meow and of a piece of our new home. Yeah. Here at Ponce Inlet, so it's kind of kind of interesting. Like actually, that, so. we told the shop owners a bit about the uh, Cats Meow collection, she didn't and know she didn't know much about it there. So we kind of taught her something, which is always good. So next time she'll know a little more about. That's right. Made from Worcester, Ohio. She said Youngstown. It's like no, no. Found not Akron. Youngstown. That seemed to be what, where she was familiar. So they with. have a little park off here to the left, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you can go picnicking in there, and there's a uh, another little restaurant here. I believe it's called the Lighthouse Restaurant. Hidden Treasures. Hidden Treasures, they're calling it. Uh, rum Bar on the thing. They've changed it. It used to be called the Lighthouse Restaurant. Rum Bar on Ponce Inlet. Most of them aren't open yet. It's a little rum early. It's only 1037. Critter Fleet, it's a uh, fishing... Uh, charter it's like a, a group party boat been out on that several times you about always catch a lot of fish it's a uh, a fun little uh, little party boat to go out on do when you're in Ponce Inlet area this kind of just winds around here dolphin and manatee boat tour there yeah they have a, a turtle rescue place marine little marine science center little marine science center here and uh, you know, they, they show you how they, uh, what they do to go about rescuing uh, turtles and stuff. Uh, big deal in this area about the sea turtles. They make nests and lighting. They they restrict your lightings and stuff so that the uh, um, turtles don't come inland and they go back out to sea. Uh, otherwise, they could pro possibly die if they don't. Uh, uh, get back out to sea there, so they're very Soon strict. After they hatch, they gotta go. Yeah, so they protect the turtle mountains. You know, they uh, uh, there's a little park over here. You can go out here, and uh, goes right out to the inlet, Lighthouse Point Park. They charge a fee to go out there. It's I don't know, three or four bucks. I'm I'm not sure. It could be six bucks. But this comes around, this right, went right around to the point. We're actually back over here to the uh, uh, ocean side. There's a, uh, on up here, there's access to the beach. Looks like you can still drive down to it. Yeah, so. you can drive into the beach and that.
Yeah, so it's he can grow right out into it. So. Mm -hmm.